All right, so recently I did a video on the iPhone 8 where if you replace the screen on the iPhone 8, it will just stop working if you use the third-party screen and you choose to update the software. Now, Apple has a history of doing stuff like this. With the iPhone 6, there was error 53, which is where if you take the home button and you replace the home button and then you update the software in the phone, the phone will just brick itself. Just like that. Just no more data, no more working. Take it to the store. They can't help you. You're screwed. Up until they admitted that it was a mistake and totally apologized because of user backlash. So what happened with that was people could at least start postulating the argument to the uninformed user that this was done for security reasons. Because the fingerprint sensor is what you use to log into the phone and it's what you use to log into your Chase app and your PayPal app. You don't want those third-party eBay sellers stealing your information now, do you? So they can make that argument that it was for user security. It wasn't because they were just being dicks. It wasn't because they just wanted to screw the consumer. It was just, you know... It wasn't because they wanted a monopoly on repair of their products. It was just, hey, because we care about you. Security. We don't care about you enough to make sure that the button that's knockoff doesn't work from the moment you boot the phone. But hey, if you update the phone nine months after you had that knockoff home button installed, we'll disable it then because, you know, security. It's totally fine to have nine-month gaps in your timeline when you care about security. Now, when it came to the iPhone 8, all right. It's a little bit harder to make that argument now because now it's about the screen. The screen doesn't really have much to do with security. You don't log in to, to Chase and PayPal using a fingerprint sensor that's built directly into the screen. So that's, you know, it, the argument doesn't really hold up as much. But now we have a new argument. We have the argument that Apple cares about the quality of the parts in your phone. They want to make sure that your phone is only using genuine parts at any given time. And if you put a knockoff screen into your phone and you update the software, Apple's going to brick your phone because they care about you. Because they care about you and they want to ensure that the part that is in your phone is original at all times. Which is why they don't issue a message saying, hey, you have a knockoff part, you may want to do something about that, but here, let's let you use the phone. No, they brick it. It's not because they're dicks. It's not because they want monopoly on their own repair services. It's not because they want planned obsolescence. It's totally because they care about you and they care about parts quality. Here we can't really make the security argument because that would be BS, but we can make the argument that we care about the quality of parts. We want only OEM original parts in our devices because that's the argument. All right. So just at the moment at which everybody said, you know, we don't think that you could be any more of a bag of dicks, somebody at Apple decided, hey, hold my beer, because here's what we're doing next. We're going to make it so that even if you use an original screen in the phone from a phone that you bought at Apple.com, it will not work. Yes. As reported by Engadget, and as confirmed by many people who I trust who have private messaged me who've tried this, you can literally take the phone, you can take a phone that you purchased from Apple.com, you can take it out of the box. You can take another phone that you purchased from Apple.com, you can take that out of the box. You can take the screen from the first phone, and you can install it into the second phone, and it still won't work properly. You won't, you'll have issues with your ambient light sensor, because apparently that too must have something to do with security. God forbid, forbid, you know, some eBay vendor of some screen or something manages to find out how often you keep your phone by the damn window. The light sensor. Come up with the argument there. Tell me the argument there. Tell me it's because you care about quality. Tell me it's because you care about security. I dare you. Come up with the argument as to why this needs to happen. This is insanity, and this is being done for a very specific reason. It's being done to figure out, hey, how far can we push the envelope? Just how dickish can we be and get away with it? What, can we, what will our customer base tolerate before there is pushback? What will the government tolerate before there is pushback? What will the technology community tolerate before there is pushback? Just how much can we get away with? How many times can I cheat on my wife before she divorces me? How many times can I not pay my employee on time and skimp on the Christmas bonus before they quit and work for my lead competitor? How many times can I kick my dog before he runs away while I'm on a walk? That's what this is. It's about figuring out that threshold. And this right here, 
This is very important. Don't be fooled into thinking that this is only Apple, and don't be fooled into thinking that this isn't going and spreading like a wildfire to everybody else as soon as they figure out that they can get away with this type of stuff. Apple has the SD card slot that removed from the phone. Hey, Samsung with the S6, move the SD card slot from the phone. Apple has the battery uh, sealed inside the phone. Hey, Samsung has the battery, it's the S6, just like sealed inside the phone. Uh, Apple gets rid of the headphone jack. Hey, the Moto series on Verizon, they, they got the headphone jack out of the phone. Uh, you know, this spreads like cancer, like AIDS. It's, it, it, it spreads, and it's going to continue spreading. Other companies copy Apple. I hate it. It sucks. I, it, it makes me sick to my stomach to see that other companies copy what makes Apple terrible rather than copying the things that make Apple great. Because there are a couple of things that make Apple great that everybody seems to miss out on when they're copying all the things that make Apple suck. But this will spread. Other companies are going to do this if Apple does this. So don't think today that just because you ignore it when it happens to the iPhone that you're safe with your Samsung or your HTC or your LG or your Huawei because this is coming to a phone near you if you tolerate it here. There, I dare somebody to tell me what the good reason is for this. What is the security reason? What's the quality control reason for it? What reason is there to make it so that if you take apart if you take a screen from one iPhone and you put it into another iPhone, when those iPhones just came out of the box new, that this iPhone no longer works properly with something as silly as the ambient light sensor. What, is this being used for like Morse code or something? Is there a satellite up there that's beaming something to each person's individual phone from the NSA or something? Is there something that we should know? Is there a reason this feature is implemented? Because if there isn't one, then just stop screwing with your users, stop screwing with repair shops, and stop making terrible decisions with your products that everybody else in the industry is going to copy. Do us all a favor and cut this crap out. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.